For me, it was that my father's hand scene that we were just talking about because it, it, uh, it was a real turning point in the movie and really kind of gets to the DNA of who the guy Kenny Wells was. You're talking about in, in, the, in the middle of the film when you, not the, not the opening scene. No, the, the turning down turning of the 300 yeah. million. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, there's a scene where uh, Kenny and Kay are reunited after a little while apart and um, he's um, lying in bed surrounded by yellow roses in his underwear and a robe. And plus the 45 pounds that you gained, of course. Let's not forget about that. And you brought that along. Doing my best Burt Reynolds playgirl <laughs> pose. <laughs> That was my favorite scene. <laughs> that was a fun scene. It was, it was there, there were two Matthew McConaughey's there. Two. You got two of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, could, I could say that the scene where I get to hug and lift and carry Matthew in his white underwear when we strike gold, I, I could say that, but I won't. Hey, come on, that would have been... Both people I work with saying favorite scenes were me in their underwear with them. Exactly. <laughs> Matthew, I think you're like, this is not just us. This is not just this movie. Like, I think in every movie you take your shirt off. And I Trying. think a lot of people yeah. Yeah. like the, the scenes contract. where you're in your underwear. He was, he was wearing this Iron Maiden t-shirt that I would never forget. But I won't say that's my favorite scene. I think that my favorite scene um, is the bow tie scene. But that's as much as I can say, because otherwise we will be giving out, giving away too much. But yeah. that, the bow, tie, the bow tie scene, it's, uh, I think it's my favorite scene in the movie. And the face that you make in those, in those moments, I don't yeah, give anything that, away. That's the, only, that's the only scene in the movie where my character opens up a little bit and kind of like let out, lets out a little bit of yeah. his mystery to his best friend. So. Stephen, what was your favorite scene to shoot? It's, it's very hard to choose. Um, there were a lot of scenes in the movie that were just... You know, I'm, I'm kind of the first audience, you know, because I'm looking through the lens and I'm watching it. And a lot of times I was I was really happy. And um, but the one that just popped in my mind when you asked the question, because no one's asked that question, uh, was instantly was the is the bow tie, the scene. Um, it's basically one shot. It, I mean, I think really wonderful acting between these two guys. They run through almost like a gamut of emotions you can have as you make a friend as a grown up. You know, it's hard to make friends when you become a man. You know, we make a lot of our friends when we're kids, it's a lot easier and it's just, it gets harder and harder. And I think a lot of, a lot of things are happening in that scene that are really, really interesting in the, in the camera language with Robert Ellis with the great DP, it just captures it beautifully kind of in one shot, uh, panning into a mirror. And then, and, then I, and then the other moment really for me is the moment that I talked about earlier where Bryce opens the door to Kenny and the way she looks at him. And if you see the movie, you'll know what I mean, because honestly, the entire movie rests on that look. If it works, I think the movie works. And if it doesn't work, you know, we're in rewrite hell and trying to figure out what we're going to shoot. And so it's a big deal. And I, I was running around on the set. I, I just, I was so, you've never seen a happier human. Oh.